Welcome Twailing. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back Twailing. Let's see what is happening. This is going to be a beautiful week for you. Gemini's. <laughs> so Gemini's. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. You have Archangel Raziel. Listen to your intuition. You are going to be successful. Huge successful um, Gemini. Successful over um, a whole lot of issues that was happening around you that you were not aware of. Successful of um, some of you are going to be finding out that your partner was not being honest. A cycle is going to be over for you and your partner if you're in a relationship with a cancer. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. You're going to be successful coming out of this relationship, um, Gemini. Very successful. Because people are going to be finding out and you're going to be finding out who this person is and was. Very, very successful. I see you, Geminis, are going to be having a new start and being very victorious Victorious over an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. Whoever this Aries Leo and Sagittarius was, was working um, against you guys uh, together with their partners and creating a whole lot of illusion. Some of you are going to be finding out if you were in a relationship with a cancer or whatever relationship or your husband or whatever, but it's coming up mostly as a cancer relationship. But they were seeing someone else. You're going to be turning your back to this person, but letting it go. They're going to be finding out a whole lot of things about a Aries man. And what this Aries man have done. A cycle is going to be over Gemini and you're going to be moving forward in a very positive way. And you're going to be overcoming the issues that your that your partner have created in your world. Together with an Aries man, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, a fire sign man. Some of you are going to be fighting for your relationship. But this is only for people who have a relationship with other people. Um, other, other zodiac sign, behold from the cancers. But relationship with cancers, you're going to be ending. But other people who have relationship like with other people, you will stand up and fight for your relationship. It is a lot. It's a lot, Gemini. Do not take this week lightly. Do not take this week lightly, Gemini. Okay? You're going to be successful. Listen to your intuition. Because that is what is going to be helping you. All right. So we are dealing with the Knight of Pentacles. So who's this Knight of Pentacles? This can be a young Capricorn person. Whatever is happening, there could be a cycle that is going to be over for this young Capricorn person. Whoever this person is, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But it's coming up as a Capricorn person. It's coming towards you. Heartbreaks. For this young person, this person is um, between the ages of 18 and 45. A cycle is over for this young person. And this person is definitely between the ages of 18 and 45. Heartbreaks and a cycle is going to be over. 
I see you. The Queen of Pentacles, whoever this person is, is going to be having a new start. This lady is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, is going to be having some sort of a new start moving forward. And you see um, that whatever the issue and the situation is that was played, it's going to be over and I see a new start. Heartbreaks for an Aries and a cycle is over for Aries because they have found out the deceptiveness of an Aries. Three of Pentacles, another Capricorn energy. So a lot of you are dealing with the Capricorns, whatever is happening and transpiring. We have the Capricorns that is coming up. And whoever this Capricorn woman is, is going to be having a new start after some really hard play that was transpiring. Seven of Pentacles, I see a lot of you are going to be wanting to work together with this person. Okay. And uh, try to resolve a situation. Okay. A whole lot of you are going to be wanting to work together with this person um, in order to resolve some sort of a situation. Um, I see an end for a Libran also. Whoever this Libran is and whatever is transpiring, I see an end for this Libran and there is no new start. Um, as again, there is going to be you guys victoriously, successfully overcoming um, a situation where a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person has created some sort of a false height and deceptiveness. And it is a Taurus. Whoever this Taurus is, a cycle is over. And I see that this Taurus is going to be very unhappy. But um, whoever this Taurus is, a cycle is going to be over for them. And I see a lot of you Virgos are going to be turning your back and walking away from this Taurus. So deceptiveness in the energy of relationship, a lot of you. 77, you can see that the energy 77 is going to be your, um, uh, your alignment of energy. And some of you, a Capricorn woman, an old Capricorn woman, I've told some of you something about your partner a very long time ago and you never listen. And now you're seeing that uh, this woman was speaking the truth. Uh, a lot of you, someone between the ages, a man between the ages of 18, uh, 18 and 45, a long time ago, a Capricorn woman told you something about your lover and you didn't believe it and now the truth is coming out um you ladies gemini ladies 50 years and older are dealing with an aquarian whatever this aquarian is um you are dealing with an aquarian and i i see um a lot of problem a lot of situation is going to be coming up um, this Aquarian woman wasn't speaking the truth and they're going to be seeing this. Energy of the Six of Cups, whoever this energy of the Six of Cups is, the energy of the Six of Cups, whatever is happening and transpiring, um, but the energy of the Six of Cups is that some of you are dealing with some sort of a friend, whoever this friend is, is a fire sign. Beware of this friend because this friend is going down. Um, eight of swords a lot of you are finding out the truth about a cancer some of you were not aware who a cancer is and how deceptive a cancer was and they are now finding out the truth about this cancer and how false this cancer is and not who they say they are Ooh, da, 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 da. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Bridie, there is a lot that is going on here. So a cycle is going to be over for a, tor um, a Taurus person between the ages of 18 and 45. I see a lot of you is going to be walking away from a heartbreak. So you're ending a cycle with this uh, relationship or the situation. And you're just moving forward and turning your backs on some heartbreak situation that was that occurred in the past, okay? And you're leaving that and moving forward. A lot of you are either dealing 
um, with a, 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 um, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, or you're dealing with uh, um, the energy of uh, a Taurus. So however, this is happening and transpiring. Then we are definitely seeing the situation where heartbreaks is here for an Aries. Whoever this Aries is, heartbreaks is here for some of you. So some of you wanted a new start and to work out some sort of an issue with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. But I see some sort of a heartbreaks is here where um, it's as if there is never going to be a new start to this issue or to this situation because people um, kind of don't want to work on it. Some of you really want to work on a, a relationship uh, um, with your mother. If your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, you really want to pick up and move on with this person because you see that this person has been on your side all the way and you were not aware of it okay then we see you're moving forward because you're finding out uh, some sort of a um, false item uh, from a cancer and an aquarius truths are coming out you ladies are handing a relationship you ladies if you're in a relationship with an aries Leo, or sagittarius man you're ending this relationship because you realize that this person has not been very very honest so what I see here is that some of you ladies is going to be finding out that your husband or your partner has been cheating on you for quite some while. Whatever the false sight and deceptiveness that is coming up, you're ending the relationship with your husband or your partner. Um, I see that some of you are going to be finding out something about this person that you were not aware of. And what we see here is that I see a judgment call because I see that some of you, especially you ladies, are going to be making sure um, to cut this relationship and end this relationship, okay? Some of you, your mom, if your mom is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, is going to be helping you to resolve some sort of a in, in, um, relationship problems and to end the situation. However, you people are between the age of 18 and 45, I see that some sort of a, um, problems where you want to work on a situation, and resolve a situation with a relationship but you're wondering does it really um does it really matter i see some of you are turning your back on a taurus virgo or a capricorn person and really turning your back on this person um and it's because you have done something or your partner have done something to this person that you can't face this person to say exactly um what has transpired then I see some of you who, especially you women 50 years or older, is going to be finding out that if you were in a relationship with a fire sign man, this man has been cheating on you and um, you're going to be um, taken back and standing back and trying not to open up to this person or end the relationship. And I see this person is coming back at you and you're um, kind of holding this person off because you're realizing who this person is. And what this person has showed you is not true. So I see that a lot of you Geminis are going to be moving forward and ending a relationship. And you're going to be finding out that your husband was having an affair. And whoever your husband was having an affair with, I see you're ending the affair and ending the relationship with your husband. And moving away from this because whatever is coming out, they're finding out. A lot of you were not aware of some sort of a situation that was transpiring. And you're going to be... um. Um, just, you know, happily successful to get it out of a relationship uh, just by the nick of an eye. And then you're going to be finding out a whole lot of things about a re someone you were in a relationship with that you were not even aware of. So, um, so many deceptiveness, so many horrible sort of play that was happening and transpiring. Um, some of you who were friends with a uh, some of you who were friends with a Capricorn person, I see you want to either reconnect um, the friendship that is going to be coming up. Heartbreaks for some of you, Gemini, you're ending that cycle. You ladies are going to be ending some sort of a collaboration where an Aries and was collaborated with your idea or child or... Um, some sort of a collaboration, you're going to be ending it. You're like, no, I don't want this anymore. Um, then, mm -hmm, then I see um, some sort of a situation where you ladies are going to be standing up and helping out a Capricorn woman 
against a Libran and some sort of a deceptiveness that a Libra has done. So it's as if you, you, um, Gemini and Hades are going to be finding out and it's going to be helping the Capricorn woman and letting the Capricorn woman know that an Aries and a Libran has done some sort of a false act and deceptiveness. And, um, and then you are going to be just moving away and um moving away from all the, the 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 deceptiveness because whoever it is your partner cheated on you men and women your partner you're going to be finding out that your partner um have cheated on you it is a week where it's not a week it's a week that you're finding out about um uh someone who has cheated on you and it's a week where you are really seeing some false act lies and deceptiveness that was happening a week where everything is going to be coming out about a friend whether this friend is is an aries leo or sagittarius i see you young um uh, men and women between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be making some sort of uh decision to um you know end a cycle and to help out a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman who was hurt by some sort of a situation where friends have come in and created some sort of an issue for this person. Heartbreaks, you're going to just be walking away. And I see some of you are going to be, um, you know, either trying to work out a situation with a, with a, with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you're going to be moving forward and you're going to be seeing that um, whoever this person is, um, that is you're in a relationship has not been honest to you and I see this um, whoever the spy side man is I see that some of you are going to be ending a relationship with the spy side man and finding out how horrible and deceitful and, and horrible the spy side man is and was and what he has created and how he has affected the life of you and your families and I see you're turning your back you're turning your back like to a lot of people, a lot of issue, a lot of situation. And as soon as you turn your back, a lot of people are going to be saying, yo, so uh, weren't you aware of so-and-so, okay? Um, I see that some of you are going to be going back to a, uh, a Capricorn woman. This woman is 50 years and older and trying to mend a situation because you found out how they have treated and hurt this woman in a so it could be a sister it could be a, a friend and you are now seeing what exactly has happened and transpired and um um you you know because of your hurt feeling you could have done something to this person and you're going back to apologize you're really going back to apologize so gemini it's going to be a, a week. There's no question about it. Information is going to be coming out. Heartbreaks is going to be here. A lot of information is going to be coming out. People are going to be knowing what exactly has happened and transpired. Call upon Archangel Raziel to help you to make the right decision and the right move in your life. And everything will be okay. Namaste. Until next time.